Today I'm going to show you how I made this template here. My method may not be the best way to do this. I'm simply going to show you the way that I did it. Um, so here I have my canvas open and I'm just starting with a 12 by 12 canvas because I like to get a sense of the size of my element that I'm making um, in regards to a full layout. So I'm going to start here with my shape tool and I'm going to just make a circle. I'm going to start here by making the petal to the flower. So I'm going to start here with the circle then I'm going to come here and get my polygon lasso tool and on a new layer I'm just going to kind of draw bring it in here. I want it to kind of taper in then I'm going to hold on shift to make it flat and then I'm just going to come up here connect it together and fill. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in here and make sure it lines up. It looks like it's doing pretty good. So then I'm going to duplicate it and flip it on the horizontal and with my move tool I'm just going to slide it over too far, slide it back Alright, so there is my petal shape. I'm going to merge these layers together, right click, merge layers. Alright, so this is I think maybe a little bigger but that's okay. Um, you can always shrink it down. I'm going to duplicate it again. This time flip it on the vertical. Move it down. See, where is it going to pop out? Okay. I still want them to touch. All right. So I'm going to duplicate both of these layers and then rotate them. And then I'm going to duplicate and rotate again. And one more time. All right. So now these four I'm going to duplicate and rotate. All right. So now I have all of my petal shapes. Um, that I had over here. You can see all of these. And let's see, in this one I actually merged together the ones that are across from each other. So, so you can do that if you want. Alright, let's go ahead and make these a different color so that we can kind of see what's happening a bit better. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, let's see which one is this. All right, and I am going to go ahead and merge these ones that are across from each other together just to simplify things a little. Okay, and now I'm going to apply my drop shadow so we can see the petals, which we couldn't see very well before. Okay. So I have now I'm just going to add some texture to the flower. I'm using one of Brooke's um, textures here. Um, I'll put the link down below. And then I'm just simply going to clip this on here and set it to overlay. Pretty easy. And then I'm just going to go through and do the rest of them. Now, you maybe want the textures to line up in the background. You can see that since I just duplicated it, they're all the same. Um, so here, if I want them to like go the same way as the petal, I'll just give them a little tilt there to just make it seem a little more realistic. You know, and you can go around and finish doing all of those. Now, just before um, releasing this, as a final product, some people don't like to have these shadows around here on the edge. So I'm going to group these together and I'm going to duplicate it. And in this group, I'm going to remove the shadows. So now if I hide this, you can see I've just taken away all the layer effects by hitting this clear of the layers. So it doesn't matter what it looks like. I'm just going to merge this group. All right, and then I'm going to merge this group together. And if I clip it here, then you'll see all of the outside shadows have been removed and the inside shadows are still there. 
So then I would probably apply a layer here, trim it. Oops. I didn't have it all selected here. Trim. Turn off the background and there you go. You're all ready to go.